my grade 7 let's talk about week 20 and what we are gonna learn during this week let's go as you can see in your LMS during this week we are gonna take the last lesson in our um, year for uh, for this year which is determine outcomes of compound events we will take it in two days then we will practice more and more We'll start doing a revision and on uh, Thursday we will have our summative. Okay, the summative is gonna be uh, on 23 uh, May. Okay, it will be criterion C. The lessons are gonna be uh, lesson 7, 8, and 9 for topic A. Okay, now let's go back to the lesson. Um, the lesson is going to be, as I said, determine a compound event. Okay, so for this lesson, the objective is going to be use a tree diagram, a table, or an organized list to present the sample space for compound event. Okay, let's see example number one. This is a very nice example. We have a family that want to have three kids. And they are wondering what are the possible combinations okay so the first child it could be boy or a girl the second one if they have a boy then they could have another boy or a girl or if they have a girl they could have another boy and a girl now the third one the third child could be again boy or a girl but now if they had a boy then a boy then they could have a boy and a girl or if they if they had a boy and a girl then they could have boy or a girl and again the same thing here now what are the number of possibles okay that we are what we are gonna learn how to find this this is what we call compound events okay so we have a combination of uh, possibilities you can see here another example I have a game with two spinners I need to have a letter and what a number so I can present the possibilities in a table okay uh, we can have more than one thing I have a, a number cube and a coin okay so compound event is a combination of two or more events an organized list table or a tree diagram can be used to represent the sample space space of a compound event okay this is a organized list okay this is a table this is a tree diagram we will have many uh, examples and we will solve so many uh, practice questions Thank you, grade 7. See you. Bye-bye.